In this video we're going to see how to send money using your ICBC account once you have established online banking and have a USB key dongle. You will need to know the recipient's first name as well as their ICBC account number. After logging in, click on this icon here. Be sure to remember that. And then next, click here. And it might be useful to view this video in full screen mode so that um, where I'm going is not blurry anymore and that will also allow you to just pause the video at any point and take a screenshot so that you can uh, have something for reference as you go through this so click here and at this page we're able to put in the name and the account number of our recipient as well as the amount that we are going to send to them. Their name goes in this location here and you want to grab their name in Chinese if they signed up with their Chinese name. Uh, if an account is in a US name then the syntax can be a little bit different and let me briefly show that to you now. In China your last name goes before your first name and in some banking systems uh, spaces aren't really used and so for example if someone wanted to send a payment to me even though my name is Clancy K middle initial Kennedy if you're gonna send a Chinese payment to me using online banking what you might type is Clancy uh, sorry what you might type is Kennedy Clancy K with no spaces so that gives you the syntax so that you know um, how to put in the name of somebody else if they happen to be a foreigner and you need to send them an online payment Next, we paste in their account number here and then type in the amount that you wish to send. I will send 10 kwai to my friend. At this point, we can click on the confirmation button right here. and then we will see this screen where we need to look at this uh, right here this is a text-based captcha and what we need to do is look at the uh, images at, at this image here and uh, we will see either red or blue colored let, uh, numbers in the sequence so out of this whole sequence we're looking for what's in color and as we can see that would be one five four six that's what's in color scroll down and then confirm next you will be asked for a password and the password that this is asking for right now is the same password that you just used to log into the ICBC website. So we put in the password, confirm, and then we see this screen. And what this screen does is it is prompting me to uh, pull out my USB dongle and click on the OK button twice. And right now, the display screen on my USB dongle has updated. It has updated to show me 
uh, some details about this transaction that include both the recipient bank account number as well as the total amount that uh, this is going to cost. And uh, the cost for sending 10 Kwai uh, comes out to 1180 because there is a charge of 1 Kwai and 8 Mao. So I'm going to click on OK. And upon doing so, my display on the USB dongle updates and the display wants me to click OK one more time to confirm. So I click OK and as soon as I've done that my screen updates and uh, what it's showing me now is that I have successfully sent this amount of 10 Kwai to this recipient. I'm all done now. I can log out of the website. And that is how you send money with ICBC to another ICBC customer.